Thank you for visiting Leo Android Forum. Today, I wanted to show you how to put Android on your HD2 slash Leo. Now, in order to install Android on your HD2, first, you need to remove the memory card from your phone. Next, you're going to take your micro SD card and you're going to put it into your micro SD to SD adapter. Now, these are available at any electronics store, or well, most electronics stores, and they're pretty cheap. So I really suggest buying one. If you don't want to buy one, you can also use the USB sync option, which uses the USB port on your HD2. But I'm not going to go over that. Now that we've inserted our micro SD into our adapter, we're going to use our memory card reader or your built-in memory card reader in your computer. And for any memory card really, you need to format it. And we're going to be formatting it with FAT32. So you want to make sure it's FAT32, not FAT or NTFS, which it shouldn't be. Now that your SD card is formatted, we want to go to our Leo Android forum, and we're going to go to Android ROMs. So these are not going to be booting from your built-in memory card, of course. That's why we formatted it. and you're going to be putting these on your SD card. So, whatever is at the top of the list, this is the most current version of whatever build is available. Um, today is 27th, so today's newest build is going to be Shubcraft. It's built by Shu80. Um, there's a long list of what's been done on it. So we're going to click on this, and unfortunately Shuady doesn't have a direct link, so it's going to be going to a list here, and we're going to pick one of these. Um, I prefer the stock. So go ahead and download this. And we'll go ahead and wait here for it. Now while this is downloading, I'm going to show you this dual boot program. So what the dual boot program allows you to do is automatically boot into Android when you turn on your phone initially. So when it boots into Windows Mobile, it just goes into Android and you don't have to worry about it. Oops. So this XLR multiple boot build loader allows you to put as many builds on there as you want and I'll show you how to configure that in just a moment. This you want to actually save to your computer. So you need to take the file and put it onto your memory card and then run it in your Windows Mobile operating system and I'll show you how to do that. So um, now that the multiple bootloader has is done downloading, we're going to take this 
and we're going to put it onto our memory card. And Shubcraft, we are going to rename this Android folder inside the Shubcraft folder. Well, actually, we can't right now. Uh, we're going to copy this over to our memory card root. All right, now that we've put the Android folder onto the SD card, we're going to go ahead and rename it. Now you have to make sure you don't put any spaces in here, otherwise it won't boot. Um, and you'll be wondering, why in the world won't it boot? So I'm just going to name it Shubcraft version 2.0. No spaces. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and copy this. And now we're going to go into this Shubcraft folder and there's going to be a file named startup.txt. Now there's this line here that says set command line rel path android we're going to go ahead and select android here and we're going to go ahead and paste this file name that we've just set i'm going to go ahead and save it and close now we're all set i'm going to go ahead and close this and we're going to go ahead and disconnect our memory card. Remove it from the adapter. And ta-da! Insert into our phone. And it's always nice to put the back on it. Just so you don't mess up the battery. Now, if you're done turning on your phone, I've got a, um, it looks different on my phone because I've got a different ROM. This is just the basic Windows Mobile ROM. There isn't anything pretty, no HT prettiness on here. Now, you notice there's no start button up here. Um, you can push that, but I have to push this button down here. I'm going to go into the Programs menu, and you want to find File Explorer. It's probably going to be under the Tools folder in the normal HD2 build. So go ahead and open that. And you're going to want to go to the storage card, which is already selected, for me at least. And we're going to go ahead and install EBL 2.1, which is our dual bootloader. Now I've already got it installed, but I won't ask you that. Now we're going to go ahead and install it to a device. Just in case you switch memory cards, it won't foul you up. Alright, now we're going to go back to our programs menu. And you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, especially on you HD2 user, uh, normal ROM users. It's going to be installed and it's going to be at the bottom of the list. So we're going to go to EBL 2.0. We're going to go ahead and run that. Now, um, if you have more than one folder on here, there's going to be a little bar here that says um, more uh, like two builds found or whatever and if you push that button it's going to change the default up here to whatever build's going to load. Um, so since we only have one build we're going to go ahead and uh, click on that one but before I do um, there's this auto boot button down here and if you do that it's going to auto boot when it goes into Windows Mobile. Uh, so you turn on your phone goes into Windows Mobile and this program will load automatically and it'll give you um, options down here are 3, 6, 10, 15 seconds until it will actually start to load the Android operating system. Now if you want to cancel it, I'm going to go ahead and set it. Select. If you're going to want to cancel it, you want to click this little red X up there 
when it loads so it doesn't load it. Then you're just gonna click Windows Mobile. Probably sounds confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. I'm gonna go ahead and select that again. And it's gonna start booting here. Right. It's gonna stay on the screen for about 10 to 15 minutes, which is a pretty long time. Now, if it takes longer than 15 minutes, there's probably something wrong, and you probably want to go through the steps again. Um, in the meantime, you can go ahead and watch your favorite anime. So when it gets to the screen, you know you've done it right. I think it took about three minutes actually. It's pretty fast. I'm going to put in my SIM password. And we're going to touch the Android and begin. Just follow the instructions. Now you want to um, put in your Google account, which I'm going to do. Alright, so now that the uh, Google account is set up, you go ahead and say um, back up your data to Google Mail, and then you get to the screen, and finish that up. Now it automatically loads whatever previous wallpaper that you had, which is pretty cool. Um, it also downloads your previous apps, and I think Shubcraft is the only build that does this. Um, it's kind of cool, actually. So, get your introductory screens here. If you want to start, get started downloading applications and stuff, you want to go to the market. And uh, my 3D's. I'm on edge right now, it's pretty slow. Um, yeah, so here's the App Store. And here's all my apps that I had before, and it's downloading them. Pretty cool. And uh, to change wallpapers, um, well, uh, first off, for anybody who's not accustomed to Android, um, to go into settings for any programs, you push the Windows button. And if you want to change wallpaper for this uh, screen here, you go there. And there are a segment of live wallpapers that you can choose from. You can also download some new ones. Um, this is the one that you'll probably end up with. When you first boot, you touch the screen. Let's set it first. When you touch the screen, it does weird things. That's pretty cool. Um, 
yeah. Well, I think that's it. So, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the forum. And I will see you later.